Really? Sorry, I'm trying to like gather myself. <sighs> Since coming out to my friends and my family, it's just been on my mind so much more of how much this affects everything in my life. So I figured I should probably just let everyone know all at once. I spent the last two days writing out uh, everything I, I possibly wanted to say in this video. You can't see, but it's it's a lot. It's a lot. I've thought about this so much that I figured it's just time. I just got to, I just had to click record. I have always dated men. I've answered many questions before. What is my sexuality? And I've always said straight. It wasn't until December of 2021, personally, um, that I had come to the realization that I was bisexual. Basically within the same week of me coming out as bisexual, I had met my ex-boyfriend. I never felt in the past that I had ever like robbed myself of something because you don't, you don't really, you don't really know what's out there until you get out there. It wasn't until my last relationship had ended that I realized I started on this huge emotional journey of personal growth before that relationship and I kind of put a halt on that during the relationship. And yes, I did grow as a person. I did learn a lot um, about myself, but not enough, <laughs> clearly, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> At the point that I had already processed my last relationship, had mentally, emotionally moved on, worked through, I decided it was time for me to maybe hop on the dating apps again. Cause this is, this, is, this is the world we live in, right? With my preferences set on both men and women, within probably hours, I'm gonna tell you, I, I, I can't lie to you, just, just looking at men gave me the ick. So I set it to only match with women. And thus started my journey into lesbianism. <laughs> this sounds so lame and I keep, I, I laugh at myself every second of the day, but I did so much, so much work. And honestly, it's, y'all can laugh at me too. I genuinely did a lot of research. Like instantly, I had realized that there was so much of me that I have suppressed since childhood. It wasn't until I was, you know, put women back into the romantic aspect of my brain that I was like, oh my God, wait, my childhood, <laughs> wait, my first woman crush, wait, these movie scenes that I used to love to watch. Like everything came flooding to me all at once. And I am so, so fortunate that the majority of my friend group <laughs> is queer. So I had a lot of conversations not only did I ask my friends a lot of questions, but I did a lot of research online and I read up on a lot of experiences and watched a lot of TikToks, completely changed my algorithm um, to see and understand what a lot of women's first experiences were with other women and how that went and how that differed with men. And I feel like videos like kind of what I'm putting on the internet, right, helped me a lot which is a huge reason why I decided it was a good idea for me to come out online because if all that helped me, then that might help you. This was honestly the start of me understanding maybe I am not in fact bisexual. Not only did I start dating a woman who is now my girlfriend, <laughs> stop it, I'm gonna blush, I'm gonna blush. Okay, I am going to read a portion of what I have written in my phone because I think I worded this pretty well uh, when I was writing this out uh, when I couldn't sleep last night. It's gonna seem a little scripted because I am reading, but these are my words. The differences in dating men and women for myself was huge. It was a really big difference um, and it was pretty clear right away. Um, while I was dating who is now my girlfriend. I experienced feelings I had never felt before. A deeper connection to a partner than I had 
ever felt. My whole life I've dreamed of this deep romance that I've seen in movies and read in books that I never truly felt. I thought a love like that just wasn't real. Oh my god, why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? Hold on. Whew. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to like gather myself. <sighs> and going off script <laughs> now. There was a handful of times, you know, in the last couple months that I had like broke down crying, thinking about how growing up, I imagined a whole life that looked like all these romantic, like princess <laughs> and Mary's the prince and <laughs> You know, all these love stories that I've seen in all these music videos that I love to watch of people falling in love and having this connection. And I, I remember a, a moment in high school when all of my closest girlfriends were getting in these relationships and they were having these um, connections with these guys for, this, for the first time. And I explained to one of my guy friends that I've always wanted, like I'm waiting because I don't feel this connection that I have imagined it would feel like from watching all these movies, these men and women together. This friend of mine told me that, yeah, that's not real. <laughs> and it, it, it hit. But turns out that the feelings that I was looking for, that I always thought I would experience um, from watching all these movies, I would never, I'd never be able to experience with a guy because that connection for me was never gonna be there with me dating a guy because just, you know, in the, in the beginning of us talking, it felt like I was experiencing feelings for the first time. So it turns out I was gay this whole time. <laughs> I didn't know that. In the beginning of me, dating my girlfriend. I had so many intrusive thoughts and they were not fun. So some of the intrusive thoughts uh, were telling me that since I didn't have much experience with women, um, that my feelings were not valid. You know, uh, every part of me was like, this is just new because it's new. At the end of the day, my, my feelings are, are very valid. So no matter the reason, my feelings are valid, right? The other intrusive thought was that, you know, maybe the reasons why I can't have these feelings for men is because of how much trauma they've given me, you know? So maybe it's a new thing that I can't date men. But at the end of the day, that is also not true because I know feelings like that have, have never been there. Uh, but anyways, in the end, all my feelings are valid and if they've gotten me here, I know myself, I know my feelings, and that's just me, so... I would rather be me than anything else. Um, so coming to this realization, uh, the worst of it was probably being afraid of homophobic people. You know, this was the end of my school year in cosmetology school, and I would see clients every single day. Sometimes maybe three different people would come to the school to get their hair done, and you know, it's a very gossipy place, okay? People love having these short little connections um, with their hairstylist. I was always the one, the one to chat and answer all questions. However, now um, that I was dating a woman, I was extremely insecure about it. What if they're mean to me? What if they look at me differently? I have, I, like, I've never felt like I was just holding back such a secret about myself before because I've always been very validated and you know it's always been so normal for me to talk about my dating life before and now I was just afraid and I'm gonna experience that again you know when I do work in a salon and I'm very nervous about it <laughs> honestly I am very nervous about it um, and I, I am nervous about what people are gonna say online but in the six years of my life it's not like I haven't received hate before <laughs> So I'm fine with that. Yeah, hearing it in person, that would be the worst. I wouldn't know how to respond to that. But again, I would rather be myself. And if someone doesn't like me, that's cool. That's their problem, because I'm great. However, 
there are good things. Um, I want to share with you a little story of uh, the moment that I told one of my friends from back home. So a friend of mine back home during Christmas break uh, had I had come out to and he was so happy for me. A lot of people have been very, very happy for me. So it's it's the best, honestly. I keep a very good group of people around me and my family's amazing, all of them. My dad kind of stunned me. Um, he likes he likes my girlfriend more than he's ever liked anyone I've ever dated, <laughs> which is really cool. <laughs> um, but my friend had asked me, like, what is the biggest difference now versus uh, in the past? And the the biggest difference is that it feels like it kind of feels like I'm a kid again just having the time of my life hanging out with my best friend and there's like no rules there's like there's there's nothing that's telling me I have to be a different way I don't know how to describe it but yeah I just feel like a, I just feel like a kid with a best friend again and it it means the world to me. I'm experiencing a lot of things for the first time, y'all. But I would, I would love to talk about it. If y'all have any questions, please leave questions in the comments down below. There is a lot more that went into me figuring this out about myself. And there's a lot of resources I used um, that I would love to share if y'all are interested. So this is my coming out video. Hello, internet. Thought I was the biggest ally. Turns out I'm I'm a part of it. <laughs> I'm so happy with my life right now. I love who I am so much. And yeah, this life is crazy. But I love it. And we'll be back to my regular fun hair content in like in a couple days. So if you're new, honestly subscribe. Follow along. Let me know what questions you have. And yeah, because look at this. I have so much more to say. I have so much more to say. Just wait. It's coming. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. And I know many of you are probably validating me and telling me that I'm fine. <laughs> and I love that. Um, but yeah, love you all. Have a great day. Bye.